Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we're going to be testing the new NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready Driver version 466.47, which was released on the 18th of May 2021. Throughout the testing, game mode will be switched to off. I don't ever enable game mode, so I'll leave it off. And just a reminder to subscribe if you like the content so far. Here are my current NVIDIA 3D settings. Notice they're program specific to Microsoft Flight Simulator and not global settings. The specific settings I've changed for the program are power management mode set to prefer maximum performance, texture filtering set to on, texture filtering quality set to performance, texture filtering Trilnir optimization set to on, and a much debated setting virtual reality pre-rendered frames is set to two. And here are my in-game settings. In the first demonstration, I've got the Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling, or HAGS, set to ON. It's a much debated setting, so I decided to include both. As you can see, the sim is running really well. And we're getting good frame rates, I'm getting good clarity, good smoothness. Overall, it's a very good result. It's very, very good in terms of smoothness, both in and outside the plane. Notice how I turn my head, there's no micro stutters. The translation from VR to 2D does not do it justice. It's way, way more immersive, obviously, in VR. Also, the head movement is not so apparent when you're using the VR compared to looking at it in 2D. And here's the second demo with the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling turned off. It's difficult to see any real difference when the VR is translated to 2D like this. However, I'm pleasantly surprised with these settings. If you notice, the FPS count is higher with HAGS turned off. You're looking at low, mid and even high 40s if you look now at the counter. It's a pleasant surprise and I'm going to be using HAGS off for a while now and see how much more difference that makes in different areas with different aircraft. But wow, what a surprise and what a result. This driver is working really well in my opinion. I'm gonna keep messing around with it and see how it goes. But honestly, I think it's worth the download. Try my settings, see what you get with yours. I do believe in future updates, the sim will just get better and better. I really hope testing this new driver helps you decide on whether or not you want to upgrade yours. I definitely think it's worth an update to try it out. If you don't like it, you can always revert to the old driver. Drivers are updated for a reason. It may not be specifically for this sim. It may be for other things. But from these tests, I do find the FPS is better. Wow, I'm amazed. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you subscribing. Please, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so for more updates. As always, guys, it's been a pleasure making this video. In the meantime, take care and stay safe.